and gentlemen, if you want to be a rock star, you're going to want to be here in the next 90 seconds. It's happening. It's happening. Right here. professional rock star. That's right. I'm a real, real rock star. And my job consists of two things. Through Crash Rhythm and the Junk Line, which is what you just saw, I'm either performing on stage, playing at festivals and parades and stuff like that, or I train rock stars. So today, you're watching Crash Rhythm's virtual workshop, and that means that I'm going to train you and your family how to be rock stars. Super exciting, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to make a lot of noise. Let's do it! Hillary here, super, super excited to be doing some Canada Day virtual workshops with you. Burlington is my hometown, I was born and raised there, and I went to all of the Canada Day festivities when I was a kid and a teenager, and now an adult performing through Crash. So we've got something pretty cool planned for you, something that we've never done before. We are going to be doing a bunch of at-home participation activities. That's right, you are going to get to drum with me at home. So before we even get to that though, you need to watch this video so that you know everything that we need in order to get this done, okay? So watch this video now, and then on Canada Day, there'll be two more parts for you, and it'll be where all of our activities are to have some fun at home. Sound good? All right, let's get to it. So let me break this down for you on how it's gonna work, because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hillary, you're in the Crash Rhythm Studio. And I'm at home in my living room. How are we going to do this? But fear not, because I have a plan. So if you're one of those people that just want to sit back, grab a blanket and maybe a bowl of popcorn, cuddle up with your family and just watch this video, you can totally do that. That's fine. That's awesome even. But if you want to participate and actually drum along with me, this is how we're going to do it. Every so often, I'm going to put a little pause sign right here in the corner, okay? When that pause sign goes up, I want you to pause the video because we're gonna be doing some sort of activity that might require you to take a little minute to do it, okay? So I might just have explained a task and you're gonna need some time. So pause the video right there in order to do that. Uh-oh, I don't, I don't have anything to drum on. Huh, all right, well, I might have to get a little creative here, okay? So let me go see if I can find some things in my house to drum on, I'll be right back. drum set just out of stuff that I found in my house. So let's go over all the different sounds I have here because the really cool thing about my bucket drum set is that every single sound that one of these buckets makes makes the sound of a drum in a real drum set. So I'm able to actually make real drum set beats when I put them all together. So let's let's look at what we've got, right? So this tall one up here, this is called my cymbal, okay? Now when we say cymbal, we're going to say it like this to help remember. So say it along with me. Cymbal. Nice. <laughs> and we say it like that so that we remember that when we hit the cymbal, cymbal is a nice long sound, okay? Something that makes a nice crash sound. Crash, crash. Now these two out here, these two are brothers. Their names are Tom and Tom. They're the Tom Toms, just like that. 
and just like any brothers, they, they're a little different. They have some different sounds. So when we say Tom Tom, we're gonna say it like this. Tom Tom, just like that, now you try. Tom Tom, and that's how we know that they've got those two different sounds. This one, right here, right in between my legs, this one's the center of the drum set. But not just that, it's also the drum that can go the fastest, okay? So when we say snare drum, that's what this one is, we say it as fast as we can. Snare drum, snare drum. And we say it super fast because it's the drum that goes the fastest. And then the last drum that we have is this big one. This is the bass drum. So the bass drum is always gonna be the biggest drum in the drum set. And because it's so big, it's got a really low sound. So when we say bass drum, make a big circle in front like this. This is my favorite one. Make a big mean face and you're gonna say it like this. Bass drum, bass drum, just like that, okay? So let's hear what they all sound like. So we have our cymbal, we have our tom-tom, we have our snare drum, and our bass drum, just like that. So now, all right. I think I should play them all together so that you can hear what it sounds like, don't you think? All right, let's do it. Let's see, you tell me if you think it sounds like a real drum set. Here we go. <clears throat> goodness all right guys I think it's your turn to make one so get ready for your first activity okay I'm gonna put the pause symbol in the corner in just a minute but before I do that let's talk about what you can make so we are gonna need a bass sound right we're gonna need a nice low sound we're gonna need maybe a snare sound a higher sound that we're able to go a bit faster on we might need a cymbal sound that'll make it a nice big crash kind of finale sound and you can make up your own ideas you can find anything in your house so maybe you have some old coffee cans left over that might be a good snare or a good cymbal maybe you have some old yard waste buckets that might be a good thing for a bass drum maybe you have some things that rattle maybe you have some pots and pans that could be a good snare drum sound and if you don't have drumsticks like me you can always use the backs of some spoons right these are some kitchen spoons right those work too all right get ready so when i put that pause sign up you have to pause the video and go find some stuff to make your very own bucket drum set. On your marks, get set, go! Okay, now that we've got our bucket drum sets, there's one thing I wanna go over quick. Obviously, we're gonna be making a lot of noise, but also I wanna teach you a lot of cool things while we're doing it. So what I'm gonna do is when I put my sticks up on my head, just like this, these are my bunny ears. And when the bunny ears go up, it means that I'm gonna have something important to say, okay? So this is my symbol to tell you to stop drumming. Perfect, all right? So let's remember that for the rest of the video. Now, before we get into any activity, I think we need to make some noise. Don't you think so? So now that we have our bucket drum set, let's try to see some of the different sounds we can make. So everybody, I hope you were able to find something that made a bass sound, something really, really low, okay? So let's all hear that right now. Everybody, play your bass drum. Oh, awesome, it was so low, that's incredible. Now, let's hear our snare sounds. Remember, that's our higher sound that we can go faster on. Let's hear that one. Incredible. Now let's try that third sound that we found. So I have my cymbal and tom toms, but you could have found anything that you had. So let's hear that sound now. Now there's one more sound that we can make. And if you have drumsticks at home, that's great. If you have spoons that you found to use, that's great. If you didn't find anything and you just have your hands, that's also great. So this is called the stick click. But also, it could be just a clap, right? So everybody do that now with your sticks, hands, spoons, anything you found in your house.
Beautiful. Now remember, we, we can play many different ways on these drums. It doesn't always have to be fast and loud. Sometimes it can be slow and quiet. So let's all play right now. Let's hear what slow and quiet sounds like on the bass drum, okay? Okay. I wonder what fast and quiet sound like on the snare drum. Let's try that. Fast and quiet, here we go. How quiet can you play? Well done. Let's take this time right now to invent a new way to play our drum set, okay? So everybody, pause the video now and experiment with the sounds that you've got on your drum set and create some new ones, okay? All right, pause. All right, you've completed the first video. Great job, everybody. I hope that you now have a bucket drum set at home, which you're gonna need for the next two videos, okay? So keep those ready to go for Canada Day, and I'll see you then. Awesome, bye.